we'll look at the difference between a cell and a battery. When most of us see a device like this, we call it a battery. Technically, it's not really called a battery. It's called a chemical cell. A battery is actually defined as a combination of two or more chemical cells connected to each other. For example, if we attach the positive end of one cell to the negative end of another cell, like this, it forms a battery of two cells in series. Adding another cell, like this, will give us a battery of three cells in series. The voltage of a cell is a measure of how much potential energy electrons gain as they go through a cell. Many common cells have a voltage of 1.5 volts. When cells are connected in series, or positive to negative, each cell adds potential energy to the electrons going through it. So their voltages add up. If a single cell has a voltage of 1.5 volts, two cells in series will have a total voltage of 3 volts. To understand how this works, we imagine one electron going through one cell. As it goes through, it picks up 1.5 volts of potential energy and goes into the other cell, where the same electron picks up another 1.5 volts of potential energy. So this single electron has picked up 1.5 volts of potential energy from both of the cells. So it has picked up a total of 1.5 plus 1.5, which is 3 volts of potential energy. Therefore, the voltage on the voltmeter is 3 volts. Three 1.5 volt cells in series will have a total voltage of 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5, or 3 times 1.5, which is equal to 4.5 volts. Now we'll look at a different arrangement. When two cells are brought together so that their positive ends align and their negative ends align, and the two positive ends are connected by a conductor, and the two negative ends are connected by a conductor, they form a battery of two cells in parallel. In parallel, voltages do not add up. For example, if the voltage of one cell is 1.5 volts and we add another cell in parallel, the voltage will still be 1.5 volts. Even adding a third cell in parallel will still give us a voltage of 1.5 volts. To understand why this happens, we consider two cells in parallel and two electrons by the voltmeter. One of the electrons goes through one cell and picks up 1.5 volts of potential energy. And the other electron goes through the other cell and picks up 1.5 volts of potential energy. So each electron has picked up potential energy from only one of the cells. Neither of the electrons go through both of the cells. Voltage is a measure of potential energy per electron. Each electron has picked up only 1.5 volts, so the voltage is still 1.5 volts. To review, a single unit like this is called a chemical cell rather than a battery. When cells are connected with positive to negative, they form a battery of cells in series. When cells are connected in series, their voltages add up. So for example, the total voltage of three 1.5 volt cells in series is equal to 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5, which is 4.5 volts. When cells are arranged so that their positive terminals are connected to a conductor and all their negative terminals are connected to another conductor, they form a battery of cells in parallel. And when cells of equal voltage are arranged in parallel, the total voltage of the battery is the same as the voltage of a single cell.